Hello everyone, Wreckabilly here. Today I want to show you guys a new kind of elevator. This is inspired by Etho, who has shown in his recent um, survival single player world that pistons now push or pistons now actually pull players through them. Um, now this might be a bug that will get fixed, unfortunately, <clears throat> but hopefully it does not get fixed. Because, as you can see, you can actually go straight through the floor like this. Now I have this other design right here, which is massive. And this is a bunch of them stacked on top of each other. If we head over here. As you can see, we move up pretty dang quick. We are at 123, and the floor is at 66. So it just takes a few seconds, really, to get all the way to the top. It's pretty amazing. Now, there is a way that I have shown here to do different floors. So if you want to do, if you want to go from this, let's say this is the first floor, that's the second floor, third floor, fourth, and then fifth floor, I have this version, so we'll come over here and we'll face this way. And as you can see, it stops, and it'll do that once more and I'll explain why right now the idea is that even though it stops um, it basically just has a timer and a delay waiting for you to see if you step off of the floor if you stay on the floor which I will show you now hmm, that was weird oh yeah that's right because of the delay sorry <laughs> so we gotta wait for the delay and then we go up now we're on the third floor, there's the fourth, and there's the fifth floor. Pretty cool. Um, as for getting down, I do not have a version to go down just yet, but it's very similar. I'll come up with another video for that. Um, or you can just jump into water. It's up to you. So yeah, it's pretty cool. As you can see, it has the delay. It goes around, just repeaters doing the delay. Pretty awesome. Now we're at the top floor okay so let me go ahead and show you guys how this is made it's very simple I'm not gonna do a block by block uh, tutorial or anything but you guys can kind of get the idea okay so this is what the second floor should look like the first floor does not need this or this you can actually just go like that and it will work just fine but the second floor and on need to have the piston on the floor right there and then another piston right there now let me kind of explain what's going on so when we power this pressure plate it does a single pulse does a one tick pulse which kind of goes through here pulls the player through sorry about the background noise pulls the player through the block and it also if you notice powers this piston underneath now that is because this needs to restart the piston below it. So if I, so for instance, if I go like this, remove that piston, I'll step out of the way. So now, um, well now I'm kind of stuck. I'll just go to the next floor. Okay. So now, since I removed that piston, you can see this one's down, so I needed that piston to do an update for this block. Um, very easy to understand. So you have the piston underneath here, that resets the blocks, and the redstone just goes around. There's a piston under here pushing this block up, making this a one tick pulse, powering this redstone dust, powering this block, powering this piston. It's very, very simple. Um, yeah, that's all there really is to it. So I'll go ahead and fly around this for a second so you can see everything that there is. Each floor does take four pistons. Um, well, one, two, and three pistons. The fourth one will be this one right here, and then that one is this one right here. So there's only really three pistons per floor. But... Yeah, it does take a lot of pistons, but I think it's worth it considering how fast it is. Anyway, folks, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. 
thank you, Etho, for finding this amazing discovery. Um, even though I'm not sure it was you, we'll, we'll, I don't know. There might be some debate. I'm not too sure. All I know is I saw this on Etho's video first. Uh, but thanks for watching, everyone. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. What's going on, guys? Wreckabilly here. Today, I want to talk to you all about unexpected areas and when to expect an enemy. Would you have expected this guy to be right here? A lot of the time, when we are in matchmaking, we're going to see little red dots all over our uh, mini-map right here. Rest in rafters. <laughs> That was made by Jan. Oh man. I feel so bad now. Because I didn't even think about it. I was just like, oh cool, green dye or green clay. Let's destroy it and use it. Let's do it. So I destroyed it and I used it. Um, Alright folks, well I got a couple, couple things to show you. Check this out. Here.